Kodak Black's mother tearfully addresses fear for son's safety in prison. The rapper's situation in prison allegedly threatens his life so much that his mother has to take matters into her hands. She has hired um, high-profile lawyer Benjamin Crump to make sure her son is okay. Benjamin is famous for representing the family of Trayvon Martin yep. in a case against his killer, George Zimmerman, in 2013. On Wednesday afternoon, January 22, Kodak's mother and Benjamin visit Kodak um, visited Kodak at federal prison in southwest Miami for a scheduled meeting and welfare check but as they arrived they were told that he was at a bus that took him to another facility in Kentucky the attorney Benjamin believed Kodak's transfer earlier that day was not a coincidence, saying, we believe they intentionally moved him so he couldn't meet with his attorney, end of quote. Kodak's mother and his legal team plan to take legal actions on his behalf and also plan to visit him in Kentucky. Good. Mm. I mean, this is a very good move, and now I'm beginning to feel like something is up, mm -hmm. really, because I honestly don't think it's just a coincidence that it was the same day he was supposed to meet with his attorney that he was, you know, moved from the prison, and it's just scary. Still, I mean, we're still going to go back to the same thing that the system just in the world is just corrupt and very bad. Mm -hmm. People just want to and see bias. other people biased. People just want to see other people, mm. you know, go down. If you're not my race, I want you down. If you're not my friend, I want you down. If you're not family, I want you down. And mm. it's just really terrible. I just hope they get out of this and he gets out of prison alive. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's the aim now. Yeah, Before to get, get out, out alive. alive yeah. The whole alarm is jet towards thinking, I think they want to kill, kill this guy. Yeah. They want to kill this guy. So I really hope he comes out of this one alive. Mm. And the mom was saying if he dies, that she will also take her own life and all that. So I just hope. And when people utter such statements, they probably be would do it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? That's what she said is her son is alive. So mm -hmm. if her son is gone, why is she leaving? And I think, it, I think people I people know. that matter in that um, society should start speaking up now mm -hmm. because uh, we are not hoping this happens. If this guy dies and the mm -hmm. woman now takes her life, that is when you will see people rising up mm -hmm. and saying justice for justice for you've treated him wrong. Why now when that she's are, crying out, chance to, you know, can they at least lend the voice? You are not the lawyer. Thank God she has the funds to get this kind of um, man to represent to the mm. sun. But I think um, voices can be raised now yeah. to get him out of Petitions the situation. From the side yeah. and all of that. Um, like what happened in the case of Mick Mill, mm. um, a lot of people stood up, signed petitions, and then before we, we knew it, he was out of prison. Mm -hmm. And um, he was also um, doing the um, old prison reform, reform system yeah. and all mm -hmm. that. So I think someone like Kodak too should um, start raising awareness from prison and like you rightly said, people should also start He has the already, that's hashtag. why he posted on his Instagram yeah, and last week. Yeah, that's week, what I'm saying, yeah. people should start the hashtag like free Kodak or justice for Kodak and all of that. Mm. If, even if they're not going to free him, we have to ensure that he has the he's right... He's safe in there. Yeah, yeah, he's safe in there. At least he if, gets the attention of the right people. Or you transfer Fine, maybe he has been transferred to another facility. I just hope he won't be going Kentucky. through the same yeah. thing that he was going through in Miami. It's also yeah. possible yeah. that the transfer was a response to the Instagram post. Mm -hmm. So until um, his mother and the lawyer can get to him and find out what, what exactly is going yeah. on, maybe we should just watch the space and mm -hmm. see what happens. And maybe that's what they are trying to yeah, avoid. That's what, yeah. Mm -hmm. And please, free Kodak. Freak, or at least oh, make sure he's make sure safe. Sure, okay, don't freak Kodak because Kodak, Kodak is a bad been, boy. <laughs> yeah, he's been nutty, so. yeah, just yeah, so make like him safe. Last yeah, time, I think after this one, he, he will, will come he out will right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> We thought so after the last. No, 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 no this, this one. No, this one, one, I'm sure he has gone. Through, he has seen real life stuff with mm -hmm. the story <laughs> put out on Instagram. I'm mm -hmm. like, if this guy comes, I will learn his lesson. I'm sure he does not want to go back, go back in there again. Mm -hmm. He's still young, so some, sometimes I wonder why these people feel like. Like violence is supposed to be part of the music culture or the hip hop culture because that's not even how it's supposed to be. Music is a universal language that speaks to everyone. So why are we not trying to put out more positive messages out there than just trying to talk about gangsters? And, and even if violence. you think it's about gangster and gangsterism and violence, look at the people leading in the industry. Mm -hmm. They are open with their story. They are open. With, it's not like here they tell you the grace of God. These people are open enough to tell you their struggles, the bad decisions they made, how it hurt them, and yeah. how they're living 
a better life right now. Why mm -hmm. not try to emulate them? Why people. not try to look up to people like Jay Z? Honestly, I feel like what people, is the people, problem? people cannot tell me like um, someone cannot come and tell me that you don't think um, you, you don't know that being a cultist or being part of a gang group is bad mm -hmm. because every day you see a young person dying because he's part of a gang and mm -hmm. that's because he got shot by you know an opposite gang. What's the good thing in that? What's the joy in that? Every day sad stories keep coming out of being a gangster or whatever. So we they know the truth. Mm -hmm. Now the point is you have to be God has given us the grace to yeah. pick evil mm -hmm. and good, and you know it yourself. So just pick what's right for you. If not, yeah. you end up in the prison, and then you'll be scared for your life. Yeah, I think yeah. people in the hip hop space need to choose their mentors or mm. role models right. wisely. And choose their lyrics and yeah. their words wisely as well. Mm.